Alright, listen up, you motherfuckers. Socializing in this world is annoying enough already. The non-autistic like us do understand that sacrifices must be made. I believe a certain social etiquette is needed. I'll follow the rules. I'll wear my clothes in public. I'll wait in lines. I'll even help people when I can. But yet, there are animals out there who cannot understand social etiquette or they choose not to follow it. I don't know what's wrong with these people. But before I go on an endless tangent about the animals of society, we do have a lot of ground to cover. The very fact that people who talk, use their phone, or do anything but watch a movie when they're in the movie theater are still alive makes me deeply sick. You should literally be lynched if you glance at that phone while you're watching a movie. Oh, 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 somebody's texting you. We don't care. We're trying to watch the movie. You should literally be drug out and hung in front of the fetal. Made an example of your, of your animal, evil side coming out when it should. But, sadly, I'm afraid I can't fight your animals on every front of the world today. So, we shall focus on the battlefield known as public bathrooms. I don't know if you realize this, but you are expelling waste from your body. That alone should deter you from violating these rules. But it doesn't for a lot of people, a lot of sick, sick, dirty apes. Number five, we'll start off light. This, this isn't a felony, this is a misdemeanor charge at best. Uh, don't eat in the bathroom. Look, admittedly, I have encountered too many violators of this, luckily. It's not the worst charge by far. You know, it, it's mostly just affecting you, but don't do it. Do you know the disgusting things floating in the food or drinks that you have when you bring them into the bathroom? Stop. Please. Stop. For the love of God. Eat your damn sandwich somewhere else. Anywhere. A bench, under a tree, but not the bathroom. Number four, again, not an insane charge. Misdemeanor level, not a felony. Look, wash your hands, it's easy. This mostly affects you, so I won't get too angry. But just so you know, when I was in the stall and I heard you leave, guess what? I know you didn't use the sink. I could hear it. It didn't turn on. All right, now we're getting down to the serious charges. This is, this is electric chair worthy punishment for these crimes. Socializing. You and your boys don't need to stand in there vaping. You don't need to talk about the chick you supposedly fucked or something. You don't need to regurgitate the memes. We all know about them. We've seen them. I don't need you to rap some shitty cover version of some shitty mumble rap when you're in the bathroom. And by the way, to you cavemen rattling your sticks and bones, your squeaking shoes are very annoying. Your legs should be cut off. You've lost the right to have legs. It's official. Number two, we've all encountered this criminal on a number of occasions. Uh, flush the toilet, you damn animal. Click the plunger down. The plunger's gross. Use your foot if you have to. You should use your foot, by the way. I swear to God, if I'm ever rich, I would do a fucking DNA test on what you left in that toilet would then show up at your house in the night and you would never be seen again. All right, number one, I encountered this criminal today. This inspired this, this, this public service announcement. Don't you ever wait outside the bathroom stall when someone's in there taking a sh- I get it. You wanted to use the bathroom, you need to use the bathroom, but it's taken. I'll show a story to give you an example. I, I had this issue too. One time I probably drank some energy drinks and ate some, some processed food that's probably not good for you. I needed to take a shit really badly. I, I hiked across town to get to the McDonald's, ass leaking. I finally get into the bathroom and there's a guy in there. This motherfucker took forever. I'm talking 20 fucking minutes. I honestly thought Half-Life 3 was probably going to drop with the amount of time this guy was taking to drop his fucking load. But even under such extreme circumstances, I did not violate the rule. Let it be understood. Because I understood something that you should understand. The guy is shitting. Expelling waste. Brown 
goo is sliding from a tube. What the fuck? Do you really want to see the guy who just went through that process? Standing two feet away, breathing down the guy's throat, making noise. When I, when I, if I, when I'm in the stall, guess what? I know you're out there. Guess what, motherfucker? I'm gonna hold out as long as possible. I will wait 20 fucking minutes. I will sit there playing Temple Run 2 or browsing Facebook, just waiting, waiting until I hear that bathroom door close and I know you're gone. What do you expect? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush. I'm clearly busy. I'm doing something. Why would I rush for some random stranger outside a bath? I don't want to see you because I'm, I'm, I'm a human, not an animal. You shouldn't want to see me. You should never want to know the previous person you use that stall. Now, while you have committed death penalty level crimes, and you will surely be punished for them, I am but a lenient god, and I will grant you an exception. If you have the misfortune of having to go into a truck stop bathroom, and the guy in the stall, because let's be honest, they're, they're all taken, is pissing, then you're, you're allowed to wait for him to finish pissing and then go into that stall. That's the only exception. Fuck you, animals. All of you.